In this video, I'm going to show you how adjustable loop endo button is used for ACL reconstruction surgery. In this picture, you can see that we have prepared our graft by quadrupling the semitendinosus tendon and doubling the gracilis tendon. The length of our graft is 8 cm. Diameter of the graft at both end is 9 mm. And we have passed the graft through the loop of the adjustable loop endo button. We have made the marking with the marker pen at 35 mm mark on the loop because the length of our tunnel is 35 mm. The vicryl on the graft corresponds to the 20 mm mark which is the length of the graft that we want to be in the femoral tunnel. So now you are seeing the picture of inside of the knee from the anterolateral portal. So you can see that I am shuttling the adjustable loop endo button from the tibial tunnel to the femoral tunnel. You can see that the endo button is going through the femoral tunnel. We will stop at the mark which we had made on the adjustable loop with the marker pen which corresponds to the 35 mm which is the length of our femoral tunnel. At this point we are going to flip our button and uh, at the same time we are also going to confirm that the button has flipped by seeing it visually through the anteromedial portal. So you are clearly seeing that uh, the button is advancing through the lateral border of the lateral femoral cortex and uh, now it is outside the lateral femoral cortex and at this point we are going to flip the button. So both tactile confirmation is there that the button is flipped and visual confirmation is also there. So at this stage we are going to tighten the sliding knot which is there in the adjustable loop and this is going to advance the graph from the tibial tunnel to the femoral tunnel and the vicryl that we are able to see is at the 20 millimeter mark on the graft which is the length of the graft that we want inside the femoral tunnel. So now you can clearly see it is already sitting nicely in the femoral tunnel and the graft has reached up to the mark of 20 millimeter. At this stage final fixation at the tibial end with interference screw is done after cyclic loading of the graft and this is the final picture of the ACL graft. It is robust in nature and anatomical in position. Thank you for watching this video.